Welcome friends, I am Luxinamark, and today I will help you install plugins to Vendetta Online, regardless of if you play on mobile or PC. Before we begin, I want to give a shout out to Nikki, Jack P, and Wash, who helped contribute knowledge or footage I needed for this video. First off, what is a plugin, and why should you even bother using one? Plugins in Vendetta Online are similar to how mods work in other games, though a little more limited in scope. Plugins tie into the Lua scripting engine in VO to alter or enhance the UI and can automate tasks or make more information visible to the pilot. Popular plugins like Targetless allow pilots to use their sensor log without leaving flight and save asteroid content scans so you don't have to use a mineral scanner to find that special asteroid. And the savior of many mobile pilots is Droid Buttons, which lets you completely redesign the flight interface. Other plugins can be much smaller in scope, like Speed Warp, which merely changes your FOV while turboing, or Honk for being that passive aggressive truck driver you were always meant to be. Now, installing plugins is pretty easy for PC and Android platforms, but iOS users have a small road bump. Don't worry, plugin installation is mostly just copying a folder into a destination that VO intercepts. No routes, jailbreaks, or hacks should be required. Installing plugins onto the PC platform is likely the easiest, as all the tools you need are going to be part of the base system. Download the plugin you want to install, then move the archive's contained folder to the game's installation directory or its application directory on a Mac. When you launch Vendetta Online, it should automatically load. Installing plugins on Android is slightly more troublesome, since not all devices come with fully featured file managers. You potentially have to download a file explorer or zip archive extraction utility because the one installed on your system might hide folders that you want to access. However, you should be able to find these on the Play Store easily enough if you don't have the utilities already available. Here, I use the Arc File Manager. iOS is likely the most annoying platform to install plugins on, in that you need a PC or Mac with iTunes to access any installed application's local file system. However, the process is pretty simple. Using iTunes built-in tools, just transfer the completed plugins folder as it appears on your PC to your device. So you've gone through that whole process and you boot up the game and no, no plugins. First, you should check your game console to see if the game actually detected them. You can open the console with the command slash toggle console. If the plugins are listed, they should be working, unless the console is displaying an error of sorts. However, if they don't display here, there are a few possible reasons. I cannot stress enough, the most common reason your plugins aren't showing up is because they've been improperly nested. I'm talking about the number of folders between the plugin's main Lua file and the plugin's folder itself. There should only be one folder in between. Sometimes extraction utilities will remove the first folder level of plugins or double nest a plugin within another folder. To fix this issue, just restructure your plugin so that within the folder named plugins is a folder for every one of your plugins as shown here. For example, the Honk plugin should be within the structure plugins slash honk slash main.lua. There is also a small possibility that your device is preventing VO from accessing the plugins you have installed, though most cases are from improper folder nesting. A few older Kindle Fire devices do exhibit this behavior, however, though VO likely won't support that old version of Android much longer anyways, so it shouldn't be a problem. It appears some iOS users have also had issues with installing plugins, though I cannot confirm any cases to not just be simple user error. That should be everything you need to get started with plugins in Vedetta Online. There are many plugins that you may find useful. Leave a comment down below stating your personal favorite among them. If you found the video helpful, slap that like button, and please consider subscribing for more news, tutorials, gameplay, and events. 
Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.